for the Bible tells us so and the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you. Would you greet your neighbor and say glad to see you in the house of the Lord on today? Yes, we're going to have a high service on today. Glad to see you. Jesus loves you. Glad to see you in the house. There's strength in the house of the Lord. When we come together, there is strength in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Would you just shout and give God praise for a brand new Sunday in April, still in the land of the living. Amen. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. 
Yes, Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so. A lot of times we think that's just for the kids, but that's for us adults as well. Sometimes we may not feel that we're loved, but Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you. Amen. Encourage yourself. Speak over yourself. Yes, Jesus loved me. Amen. Easter Sunday told us so. Amen. He went to Calvary and rose so that you and I could be free. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus loves you. All right, we welcome you to HCC, also known as Holy City Church, where our mission is... Yes, our mission is to reach lost souls for Christ. And the conductor of this mission is no other than the General Bishop Nathaniel Dupree. Been on the battlefield and haven't got tired yet. Walking alongside our bishop is no other than the lovely First Lady, Minister Queen Dupree. <laughs> Giving a quick shout out to our co-pastor, raise your hand, co-pastor, Minister Carrie Sloan. <laughs> to our church mother, working on the vineyard at the door, Mother Helen Wilson. <laughs> Our chairman, Deacon Security. We have two of them. That is Deacon Timmy Sloan Sr. and Deacon Earl Wilson Sr. <laughs> He's also our superintendent, Deacon Earl Wilson. We praise God for all of our minister staff. We praise God for all of you coming in the sanctuary to lift up the name of Jesus. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So we're so excited to see each and every one of you in the house of the Lord on today, amen. We have some exciting news on today and we don't want anyone to miss out on what is gonna take place on today. Did you all know? Have you heard the news? Jesus is coming soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. And alongside that, while we are waiting, we're going to continue to work in the vineyard. Amen. And this is what is going to take place on today. There are some soldiers on the battlefield. They're going to be going into the front line on today. Today, we're going to have an ordination service. Missionaries, come on and make some noise. All right, missionaries, you're going to have some help on today. We're going to have an ordination service on today, and we have some warriors that is going to go on the battlefield to help us reach lost souls for Christ. So y'all stay here as long as you can. That's going to take place on today. You're going to be so surprised to see who it is. All right, to God be the glory for all the things that he has done. Also, April the 28th, that is the fourth Sunday at 3 p.m., Clairesville Baptist Church will be honoring their honorable pastor, Pastor Claude Roberts, for eight years. Yes, eight years for pastoring at Clairesville Baptist Church. And on that day, Minister Timmy Sloan Jr. will be the guest speaker, and the choir will be the HCC Youth Choir. So all that can and will, come out and support that powerful service, amen, for your good service that you're helping to reach lost souls for Christ over there at Clairesville Baptist Church. All right. Also, guess what? The parking over here on the left side, it is now open. Woo! We don't have to fight over parking over there anymore. I get a little congested sometimes. So look, if you want to, if you want to continue to park across the street, if you want to park right here, feel free to. God is good. Okay. Who knows what is going to be taking place on May 12th? There you go, Mother's Day. We have one month to prepare. If you haven't got your thing, your gifts for your parents or your our church mother, you still have time. You have a whole month in advance. So, of course, we're gonna be celebrating our natural moms or our moms that have stood in the gap for our moms that are going on to be with the Lord. We here at the Church of the Holy City, we're gonna be celebrating our spiritual church mom, Mother Helen Wilson, on that day. Amen, for all her hard work and dedication. We praise God for her. So at this time, I need all of the men to make some noise for Jesus. All 
right, man? We need your help. Okay, y'all know Mother's Day only come once a year. I think all of, not I think, forgive me, Lord. It would be honorable if all the mothers in ministry could take a break on that day. What do y'all think, mothers? Okay, let me get to the point and stop. I know y'all heart probably dropped. Okay, men, this is what we need. It's not by force, but by choice. We need some volunteers. We would like all of the mothers that are ushering, we want you to take a break on that second Sunday. We need some men ushers. So, if you will... <laughs> If you would like to volunteer and be an usher, of course, you can um, keep an eye, see what they do to see how it's conducted. You can give your name to our co-pastor, raise your hand. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. If you would like, man, if you would like to be an usher on Mother's Day, it's just for Mother's Day to give our lovely mothers a break, you know, on Mother's Day. Please see our co-pastor with your name. Amen. Give God praise. All right, so you all know all of our service times start at 8.30 a.m. Minister Elder Gracie Smith. Sinner, please don't let this harvest pass. She preached this morning, amen. The Holy Spirit was in this place, amen. Anytime the doors of the church are open, you all are invited to come in. Get that morning manner, amen, to get the fire moving in your spirit, amen. And then following, we have Sunday school at 9.30 a.m., amen. It's a blessing to learn from one another. And we have classes for all ages. And then we have our 12 noon service. And I'm going to get out the way because we have a powerful speaker on today that is going to bring forth the word. And that is no other than Elder Keith Walton. Amen. We're so excited to hear what God is going to speak through him. But before he come, we have to get the ground set up. We got the Holy City praise team that is going to come and lead us into praise and worship. Amen. Thank you to all of our visitors. Let's give it up to all of our visitors. We welcome you. Woo! Praise God for you. Come back again and worship with us. And I will definitely not forget our online church family. We have an online community. We praise God for you. We thank you for helping us to reach lost souls for Christ. At this time, if you would rise to your feet, we're going to say our scripture of the year together from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 13 through 14. And then we're going to read our creed together. And then we're going to worship in the presence of the Lord. All right, all of the scriptures will be up on the screen. Okay. Paper Bibles again, second, well, I think everybody knows second Chronicles chapter, I can't assume that. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verses 13 through 14. Y'all, hey, y'all ready? Y'all ready to say it? All right. Here we go. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain. Come on. Or if I command the locusts to devour the land. Or if I send pestilence among my people. If my people. Which are called? Which are called by my name. may not sin against you. Come on. That's why we got to get the word on the inside. All right, now what about this creed? It's the creed from last year. And to our visitors, I'm so sorry. We're just having technical difficulties. Y'all know how those electronics do. <laughs> All right, this one is a better year. I believe that the works of my hands are 
Maverick Seas, our Holy City Praise Team. Y'all come on and put your hands together and let us praise the Lord in here. We will take y'all back to the old time church way. How many of y'all ready to go back to the old time barnyard? Come on. Whoa! I'm so glad I found the Lord Jesus in time. I found him in time. I'm so glad I found him in time. Pick me up, turn me around. Take my feet on solid ground. You took away. Can't it move? Gave me joy. Wiped away. And I found. And I found the Lord Jesus. And I found. You know I found him. I wish I had a witness up in here. Whoa, I'm so glad I found the Lord Jesus in time. I'm so glad I found him in time. Pick me up, turn me around. Take my feet on a solid ground. He took away. Can he move? Gave me joy. He wiped away. And I found him. I found him. You know I found him. I got a witness up in here. I was with lost in sin. Jesus took me in. Jesus in time. I'm so glad I found him in time. Pick me up, turn me around. Take my feet on a solid ground. He took away. Can he move? He gave me joy. He wiped away. And I found him. I found him. I found him. I found the Lord Jesus. Come on, one more verse. I once was lost in sin. You shot so. Jesus took me in. Hey. Then a light from heaven filled my soul. Yeah. Broke my name above. Made my heart in love. I found him, I found him, I found him just in time. Oh, I'm so glad I found the Lord Jesus. In time. I found him in time. I'm so glad I found him in time. I found him in time. Pick me up, turn me around. No. Take my feet on solid ground. He took away. He took away. He took away. He took away. Listen, can he move? Me joy. He gave me joy. Anybody got joy? If there anybody got joy, he gave me joy. Listen, he wiped away. He wiped away. He wiped away. Y'all stay right there. I found him. 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 I found him.
church folks, though. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all. Here we go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I found him. Hallelujah. I found him. Hallelujah. I found him. Hallelujah. I found him. I went to the valley one day to say, my soul got happy. I stayed there all day. I went to the water and the water go cold. It chilled my body but did not disturb my soul. Hey! Come on! Hallelujah! I found him. Hallelujah! I found him. Hallelujah! I found him. Hallelujah! I found him. Hey! Hey! Whoa! I'm so glad I found the Lord Jesus in time. So glad I found him in time. Pick me up, turn me around, put my feet on a solid ground. He took away, and he moved, gave me joy. He wiped away, and I found, and I found, you know I found. Anybody here know Jesus? I said that if there anybody here know Jesus, if you know Jesus, you ought to be praising him right about now. Hey! Hey! I said, do you know him? I said, do you know him? If you know him. Pastor Robbins feel like giving God glory. And y'all know in the old church, we said the program is subject to change according to the Holy Ghost. And if my 60-something year old uncle can kick his legs up, I think the rest of us ought to kick our legs up and give God glory. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give God glory. God's been so good to us. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Everything that's going on in today's world, God has kept us. God given us another day to give him praise, to give God glory. If you've been through what I've been through, you would be praising them too. If you've been through what I've been through, you would be praising them too. If you've been through what I've been through, you would be praising them too. Come on, praise them. Thank you, Jesus. We said thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us, God. He's been wonderful. He's been a counselor. He's been a healer. He's been a mind regulator. He kept us from danger seen and unseen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
You've been. Come on, praise him. So good. You've been so good. Over and over again. I just want to say. Team. Come on, lift that voice and say, thank you, Lord. Lift your hands up. Tell the Lord you're thankful. How he saved us, how he raised us, how he forgave us for all of our mess. He cleaned us up, Lord. You covered us in your grace, Lord. We want to say, thank you, Lord. called on Jesus, didn't he bring you? Didn't he turn it around for you? Didn't he work it out for your good? Oh, oh, oh. you brought me out. Yes, you did. When I couldn't see my way, you made a way. And I said, want to say, you it wasn't going to work out. When the devil tried to make you throw in the tower, didn't God make a way? He made a way. Made a way. Oh, you made a way. So many ways. I just want to say, I just want to say, one more time, I just, I just want to say, you, Lord, oh, come on, thank the Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord, you are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach hands to me. Is it your strength? You are my strength. When I can't carry my own load. Strength like no other. Come on, Uncle Nazel. Mm -hmm. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other.
We come to praise and 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 you can do your dance, we come to praise you can clap your hands, we come to praise you can stomp your feet, we come to praise you can stomp your feet, we come to praise and put them hands, we come to praise and put them together, we come to praise and let a joyful noise. We come to praise him. 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 I don't know about you, we come to praise but I come to praise him. We come to praise him. I'm gonna lift my hands. We come to praise him. I'm gonna stomp my feet. We come to praise him. I'm gonna give him the praise. We come to praise him. I'm gonna do my dance. We come to praise him. We come. Come on, clap your hands. We come to praise and stomp your feet. We come to praise. You can do your dance. We come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. Do you want to praise and we come to praise? Come on. Stop your feet. We come to praise and clap your hands. We come to praise. Cause we come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. We come to praise and we come to praise. Yeah. We come to praise the Lord, y'all. That's why we at church. We come to praise a true and a living God. For God is not dead. God is very much alive. We come to church to praise God. I'm not worried about what my neighbor got on because I come to praise God. I know what he didn't bless me with. I know what he done done for me. And he deserves the praise. He's going to get my praise. All praises belongs unto the Lord. We come to praise the truth and a living God. Amen. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. 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 Every now and then. Amen. Every now and then. Amen. You got to step out the box. Amen. Amen. But when you step out the box, you got to realize that God is with you. Amen. God is going to see you through, amen. As long as you take him with you, amen. Everything is going to be all right, amen. We come to praise the Lord, amen. God is an awesome God, amen. And he deserves the praise. All praises belongs unto God, amen. Come on, let's give him a great round of praise one more time. We at church, so we might as well have church, amen. Huh? We at church, so we might as well have church. Church is when God's people, they get together, amen, and they praise the Lord, amen. They give God his glory, his justice. So we come to church to praise our Lord. Our Savior, amen. We come to give him his glory, amen. Amen, I feel pretty good, y'all. Hey, my God, my God. 
Hey! I was feeling a little down just a little while ago. Oh, but the spirit, amen, he came on in, amen. I'm beginning to feel my help, amen. My help is already with me, amen. But all I got to do is step out the box, amen. And my help will see me through, amen. We will have church, amen. Go ahead and praise God. Go ahead and praise God. Hey. Go ahead and praise Hey. We come to praise God. Amen. 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 God is awesome. Amen. Not sometime, but all the time. Our God is awesome. Amen. 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 You all may be seated. Amen. Amen. In the house of the Lord. Amen. God is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. And I wouldn't take nothing. Amen. For him. All my journey right now. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. Amen. 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 God is just an awesome God. Amen. Amen. And I give him the praise, the honor, and the glory. Amen. But God. Amen. 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 The Bible says he, he'll make the rocks cry out. Amen. If you don't praise him. Amen. And I dare not let a rock take my place, amen. Because he's been so good to me, amen. I dare not let a rock take my place, amen. I'm going to give God the glory. Hey. It is his just do, amen. Hey, man, amen. Woo. The spirit of the Lord is here. And it's moving. Amen. 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 Woo. Woo. My God. What an awesome God. What an awesome God we serve. Hey. Don't go on my call, amen. If you want to praise God, you gotta praise God. You gotta praise. Give him his justice, man. Yeah. What an awesome God. What an awesome God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo, my God, my God. Yay. What an awesome God we serve. Amen. 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 I'm going to try to settle down. Amen. But if you want to praise him, you still praise him. Amen. Amen. But God is just an awesome God. Amen. Amen. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is the head of my life. Amen. Amen. To my beloved Pastor Bishop Nathaniel Dupree. Amen. To First Lady Minister Queen Dupree. To Co-Pastor Carrie Sloan. Ah, to Chairman Deacon Timmy Sloan. To Missionary Helen Wilson. Amen. Mother Helen Wilson. And to Superintendent Deacon Earl Wilson Sr., amen. Amen, amen. To Pastor and First Lady Roberts, amen. I give honor to you, amen. Amen. And to my absent rib, amen. I give honor to her, amen. Amen, amen. I was feeling a little down, amen. Because I hadn't went on a journey, amen, without my rib, amen. And I was kind of missing her, amen. Amen. I've been doing good all week, amen. But when I got to the house of the Lord, amen, amen, I began to get sore in the side, amen, because my real won't with me, amen. I know that she's with me, amen, but amen. I know that she's with me, amen. 
Amen. Sometimes you got to go, amen. You got to go by yourself, amen. Amen. God is an awesome God, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I thank God, amen, for that powerful word on this morning coming from Elder Gracie Smith, amen. Amen. She brought forth the word of the Lord, amen. Amen. We ate steak this morning, amen. We had it hot. A high dollar meal this morning, amen. Amen. I hate to bust your bubble, amen. You might have to settle for a hot dog this evening. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. No way. Amen. A hot dog will still fill you up, amen. Amen. You might have to put a whole lot of ketchup and mustard on it, amen, but it will fill you up, amen. Amen. You're going to get the God, Lord's word, amen. Yeah. Amen, amen. My time is winding down, so I'm going to get to my, my message real briefly. Amen. Amen. Once again, I'll be coming from, amen, a familiar passage of scriptures. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to, we're going to Luke, amen, the 10th chapter, and we're going to read verses 30 through 35. Amen. And then we're going to skip over to Psalms 34 and 19. Amen. Great son. Once again, that's Luke 10. 30 through 35 and Psalms 34 and 19. Amen. For those of you All who are right. physically willing and able, will you please stand for the reading of God's holy and everlasting word. Amen. 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 If you have it, say amen. 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 And it reads as thus. And Jesus answering and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell amongst things which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by choice there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. He did do it. But a certain Samaritan, certain Samaritan. a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an end and took care of him. He do it. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, take care of him and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, did say it. When I come again, did say it. I will repay thee. Go ahead, he did it. And we're going to skip over, it. amen, to Psalms 34 and 19. Uh -huh. And it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Wait. But the Lord delivered them out of the mouth. What you say? But the Lord Go ahead. delivered him, them, he, she. Out of them all. Them Amen. All. Amen. You all may be seated. Amen. Work with it. Work with it. And the Lord told me on this evening, Amen, to encourage you, Amen. 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 To let you know, Amen, that you are on the right road. Great. All you got to do is keep on trucking. Go ahead now. Amen. You are on the right road. Yes. Yes. Amen. You got to keep on trucking. Amen. Keep on trucking. Amen. We got Go a ahead, truck preach. driver in the building. Amen. And amen. amen. I met all those truck drivers use that saying, keep on trucking. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. You got to keep on trucking. Amen. Because they have a <laughs> destination. Amen. That they got to meet. Amen. Yeah. They got a certain time, amen, that they got to get there, amen. Amen. They can't hang at the truck stops all night long, amen. 
Amen. They got uh, to keep it moving. They got to keep, keep on trucking. Amen. Amen. When the wind begins to blow, amen, they can't pull over on the side of the road. Amen. They got to continue to keep on trucking. Amen. Amen. When the rain and the snow fall, they got to keep on trucking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because they have a destination to yeah. meet. Amen. Amen. If they don't preach. meet that destination, they don't get paid. Yeah. Talking preacher. You talking. Amen. Amen. So they got to keep on trucking. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. You and I, we have a destination. Amen. And it's called heaven. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we're we're going to go through some trials and tribulations on this earth. Amen. But we can't let them hinder us. Amen. We got to keep on trucking. Go ahead, John. Amen. The devil is going to try, amen, to stop you any way that he can. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. But we got to keep on trucking. Amen. Go ahead, now. Amen. So in this particular passage of scriptures, amen, Jesus was talking, amen, amongst his people. And he was talking about a certain, amen, individual, amen. He was on his way from Jericho, amen, from Jerusalem to Jericho. And there was a road in Jericho, amen, that was known as a dangerous road, amen. I heard some scholars say, amen, instead of the road keeping level, amen, this road did a dip, amen. Amen, and this road was known for people to get robbed, amen. Amen, it was a trap, amen, for people, amen, that went through it, amen. Amen, people would just sit back, I believe, and just hide in the woods, amen, waiting on people that haven't traveled that road, amen. Amen, and I believe, amen, that this guy, amen, amen, was traveling, and amen, and he fell amongst thieves, amen, and the thieves took everything that he had, amen. Yes. For the Bible said that he took his money and his raiment, amen, and beat him, amen, until he was half dead, amen. Yes. Amen, amen, and the Bible goes on and say, amen, that, amen, there was a, a priest, amen, that came along, amen, and looked at him, amen. And looked upon him, amen, and you would think that the priest would have mercy on him, amen. But instead of having mercy on him, amen, he looked at him and he passed him on back. Amen, and then, amen, amen, further in the story, amen, the Bible said there was a Levite, amen, that came along, amen, and he did the very same thing. Go ahead. Go ahead, son. <laughs> you would think that God's people, amen, would have compassion. Amen. On somebody in a time of need. Amen. Go ahead. But the Bible says trust in the Lord. Amen. The Bible didn't say trust in man. Amen. Come on, preacher. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We get so messed up, amen, because we begin to trust in man, amen. Well, man gonna let you fall, amen. Preach well. Amen. Man, amen, wants everything for himself, amen. Yeah. Amen. Man don't want you to have, amen, just like the devil, he don't want you to have too much of nothing. Talk, preacher. He don't even want you to have enough to get by, amen. Yeah. But the Bible says, trust in the Lord thy God, amen. Yes, sir. With all of thy might, with oh. all of thy heart, and with all of thy soul, amen. Yes. Amen. So while we are yet on this Christian journey, amen, we can't trust in man, amen. Yeah. We got to trust in the Lord, amen. The Lord. Amen, amen. I got to move on, amen, and get to the meat of the situation, amen. Come on, preacher. Amen. You may ask, what do that got to do with me in this day and time? Well, I'm glad that you asked the question. Go ahead now. Go ahead. You see, earth has become one great big Jerry Cole Road. Yes, sir. Tell the truth. I ain't afraid to say it. Amen. Earth has become one great big Jerry Cole Road. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. Because of the love of money, amen, mankind, amen, will do any and everything, amen, to get all of your money, amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. The Lord then blessed us with more than enough, amen. Yeah. But man then got his hands in it, amen. Right. Man wanted to take all of the resources that yeah. God then blessed us with, amen, yes, so. and put a price tag on it, amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not afraid, amen, to tell you, amen, the truth. All right. tell it, because they tell me preaching is preaching the truth, truth. amen. If you got a sugar coated, amen, you don't need to be preaching. If you got to put sugar in it, you might as well sit down, amen. Amen. I read a sermon, amen, on Main Street the other week. It said sugar-coated preaching, amen, leads to decay, amen. Yeah. And once that tooth decay, amen, it's going to fall out, amen. So you preachers, you got to preach the truth, amen. Yeah. Amen, amen. We living in days and times where mankind has put a price on all of God's resources, amen. Yeah. The Lord then bless us, amen, with water, amen. But if you and I, amen, don't pay our water bill by the 6th or the 20th, amen. Amen, amen mankind will cut that water off. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's tight, but it's right, amen. God impress us, amen, with water, amen. That's one of his resources to us, amen. But mankind ain't got his paws in it, amen. Yeah. And he want to cut out of God's blessing. Nah. Fix it, fix it. It's tight, but it's right, amen. Yeah. Amen. You can't go, amen, to your favorite chicken place, amen, and get an eight piece under $20. Amen. <laughs> amen. And I know this for sure. Yeah. You can't get an eight piece under twenty dollars, amen. Amen, and you still ain't got no size. You ain't got nothing but chicken. God then blessed us with everything that we need, amen. But but mankind, amen, he's greedy and he wants Great to get job. every dime that you got, amen. God then blessed us with automobiles and houses. Amen. Things that we have paid for already. But at the end of the year, in the middle of the year, amen. We got to pay taxes on what we already own. It's tight. But it's right. I'm not afraid, amen, to preach the gospel, amen. Because he told me that he will be with me and he will never leave me, amen. So I'm not afraid, amen, to tell God's goodness, amen. We living in days and times, amen, when this earth is a cherry cold road, amen. But my brothers and sisters, God told me to tell you, amen. That no matter what this old earth, amen brings your way, amen. All you got to do is keep on trucking. For the Lord said that he will be with you in the sixth trouble. And the seventh trouble won't come nowhere near you. My God said trust in me with all of that mind, the heart, and soul. And everything is going to be all right. We living in days and times, amen, where we got what we call insurance, amen. And insurance is pretty good for certain things, amen. Amen. I, I stand before you to let you know, amen, that I ain't got Jake from State Farm, amen. But I do got Jesus from Nazareth, sir. Because we claim, amen, we claim it, amen, that insurance, amen, they got what they call roadside assistance, amen. And that's good in a way, amen. But you can't compare roadside assistance, amen, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. 
because roadside assistance, amen, it comes with a lot of stipulations, amen. No matter how many vehicles that you have, amen, if this one vehicle happens to break down on the roadside, amen, roadside assistance will come back one time, amen. But you gotta wait another six to 12 months, amen, before roadside assistance will come back to you. If you don't know, amen, you better ask somebody, amen. You can't depend on roadside assistance, amen. But you can depend on my Jesus, amen. For my Jesus, we be there, amen. No matter how many times you get sick, amen. My Jesus will come to your rescue, amen. No matter how many times, amen, that your money get funny, amen. And your credit can't get it, amen. My Jesus, amen, will make a way for you, amen. No matter what you endure, what you encounter on this side, amen. My Jesus of Nazareth, amen, will come to your rescue, amen. My brothers and my sisters, amen, it's going to be all right, amen. All we got to do is stay on that straight and narrow, amen. That straight and narrow, amen. No worry about what man try to do to you. Because what man do to you, God will come back, amen, and bless you three, four times, amen. All we got to do is keep on trucking, amen. Amen, when the light bill is due, amen. Just keep on trucking, amen. You can't see your way out, amen. But you keep on trucking, amen. Because my God, amen, is going to come to your rescue, amen. He will, amen, see you through, amen. My brothers and my sisters, amen. My God got unlimited everything, amen. If you need it, amen. My God got it, amen. He has no respectable person, amen. What he'll do for me, amen. He'll do it for you too, amen. He has no limit, amen. On his blessings, amen. If you stay in need, amen. God will supply your need, amen. All you got to do is keep on trucking, amen. For the Lord is going to bring you through, amen. My time is up, amen. But my brothers and sisters, amen. Don't worry, amen, about the devil, amen. Don't worry about his worshipers, amen. You just keep on trucking, amen. And keep Jesus by your side, amen. He won't let you fall, amen. He won't let you fall, amen. All you got to do is keep on, amen. Keep on keeping on, amen. God will, amen. He will bring you through, amen. God is, amen. An awesome God, amen. A providing God, amen. A loving God, amen. A giving God, amen. A caring God, amen. A healing God, amen. A way making God, amen. God is God of all God. Besides him, there ain't no other, amen. Just call on the Lord, amen. And he will come to your rescue. He will come to your rescue. Don't call 911, amen. Call on Jesus, amen. 911, amen. Might take too long, amen. But if you call on Jesus, amen, he will be there, amen. He'll be there, amen. Call on Jesus, amen. Don't worry, my brothers and my sisters, amen. Just keep on trucking, amen. God will see you through, amen. God is an awesome God. Not sometimes, but all the time. All the time, our God is awesome, amen. All he right, is yeah. an awesome God, amen. Amen. Here he, our pastor and founder, Bishop Nathaniel Dupree. Amen. Amen. I will cry coming back. I will cry coming back. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody Come on now. do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He is my friend. Hey, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody.
Not my mother, not my father, 
neither my sister nor my brother. Nobody can do it like Jesus. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? And I used to say all the time, God is good. My sisters and my brothers, you that are listening from far and near, we thank you for supporting our service, praying for us, helping us to stay on the air, to reach the lost for Christ. We are reaching somebody, South Carolina, Washington, D.C., Lynchburg, North Carolina, New York City. Now my nephew in Washington, D.C., my brother children, and Elder with their family. We thank you very much. Hallelujah. Evangelist Evelyn Lewis, Deacon Ron Harvey. We want to thank you, Sister Bell. And you and you, we are out here scrambling, trying to reach the lost of Christ. Because time is winding up. You better get ready. And getting ready, stay ready. Because Jesus is on his way back. Yes, looking for a church without a spot or a blemish or any such thing. Be ready when he comes. Be ready when he comes. Be ready when he comes. Comes. Come. 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 Again, so soon. Don't let him catch you with your work undone. Don't let him catch you with your work undone. Oh, don't let him catch you with your work undone. He's coming again so soon. Hold it. We're getting ready to send these three people out on the vineyard to help us to reach the lost for Christ. They are going to be souls with them. And Jesus is on his way back. And the more work you do, the more pay you're going to get. And these here are working. Win and lost for Jesus Christ. We're going to start right here with all my friends, a professional drum player. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Y'all thought David could play the drum. You know, David, that dancer, he danced his clothes off. You know, David, that did some thing that we don't want to talk about. But David danced before the Lord all day long. Ah, thank you. Ella Walter from preaching a dynamic message. Don't y'all sit down on me now. Don't y'all sit down on me. Oh, yeah, the band. This man brought me a chair. I don't want to make him feel bad. I'm going to sit down. Oh, y'all ain't never got up, had you? But that's all right. I know the feeling when you get old, you feel like sitting down. I'm a hero. I'm going to point these as missionaries, going out in the vineyard working to win the loss for Jesus Christ. I'm going to give them... I want you to state your name. Everybody state their name. Keisha Futrell Jones. Dorothy Futrell Hamlin. 
Letitia Cornell Sloan Ferguson. Y'all give them a great round of praise. We're going to ask Minister Timmy Sloan to come. He's in charge of these missionaries. Now, Minister Sloan, you have a few words you would like to say to these missionaries. All right, praise the Lord. Um, I just want to make this quick. I'm excited to have some more help, and we're going to work together. And when you take on this responsibility, it's not about our personal feelings and emotions, so we're going to come out of our comfort zone, and y'all be ready to work. Uh, it's going to be tough, but our bishop teaches us to show the love of Jesus. No matter what, be faithful, fast, pray. Uh, just stay committed to God. You're going to cry some nights, amen, but brush your shoulders off and just get back in the race. Amen. Be encouraged. Now, let me tell you something. That's not a low self thing being a missionary. Paul was a missionary. Then he find out he become to be the greatest and the highest person that was on the job. Paul was a soul winner for Jesus Christ. And these folks is already winning souls, and we believe they're going to be more souls winners when they get to the gate. The gate go swing open wide and say, come on, on the inside. Get joy. Joy on the inside. Peace, happiness, blessing on the inside. Thank you. We have, Father God, we have, I'm going to ask my daughter to lead us in prayer. Father God, give her the mic. Thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now, Lord. We want to take this time and say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done and what we believe that you've done that we have not even seen yet. But right now, we thank you for the three women, Lord. Oh, God, that's on the battlefield for you, Lord. Oh, God, who is being ordained by you in the spirit and by a pastor in the natural to go out into the vineyard to missionary, to do the work that you require of them to do, Lord. And, God, we ask you to strengthen them right now where they're weak and build them up where they've been torn down, Lord. Oh, God, let them know that they can always lean and depend on you, Lord. Oh, God, as they search the scripture, Lord. Oh, God, to see what your will is for them, Lord. Oh, God, soften their heart, Lord, that they won't only study, but they apply. Oh, God, that when they go out back too, Lord. Oh, God, that lost souls, Lord. Oh, God, those that have been broken, those that have been abused, those that are hurt, Lord. Oh, God, that they'll be able to lend a helping hand in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let your anointing flow, Lord. Oh, God, bless them in the name of Jesus. And whatever they stand in the need of, I declare and decree that it is so and that it's already done, that it's already done, that it's already done in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.
Well, yeah, she knows the Bible. This is to prove to the world when you go to these different locations where you probably couldn't get in but not the Pacific. And when you got the Pacific, they know you are connected and solidated with a church where the spirit of the Lord is going on. When you show the Pacific, one you can put in your purse or either your wallet, and nothing you can put on the wall of your living room. All right, who you got? The first one is, well, I'm going to read it, and I'm just going to read it, but it's for all of y'all, the same thing. Church of the Holy City. The Church of the Holy City does not approve of same-sex marriage. South Carolina and Port Virginia, Washington, D.C., this is to certify that Letitia Ferguson has been ordained by the pastor and the office by the Church of the Holy City is licensed a missionary and is in good standing with this church and its overseer. I believe her to be called of God to be the gospel ministry and, to, and do hereby set forth my approval as long as her life shall conform to the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Savior, I charge thee before God and the Lord, Jesus Christ, preach the word. Issue date, April, the day of 14, 2024. Expires April the 14, 2029. Go ahead now. And the same thing applied. This is to certify that Dorothy Futrell Hamler is now a missionary of the Church of the Holy Spirit. All right. Same, same thing apply. This certify that Keisha Futrell Jones is a missionary of the Church of the Holy City. God bless you. God bless you. Mother Wilson, we want you to come and give them a seat and greet them as our leading, one of the leading church mother in Greenwood County, Mother Helen Wilson. Wow, one of the anointed drum players. She can sing too. She can win so for crying. God bless y'all, Father Mother Wilson. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. All right. Where's my preacher for today? Are you on the scene? All right. Come on back soon. You did a good job. Amen. Amen. Did a good job. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming. And look, don't y'all forget about my son. He having an anniversary at this church. When? Four Sunday this month. Yes, sir. Don't y'all forget. If I had tell y'all forgotten about him, y'all gonna be in trouble with me. <laughs> Y'all support my son now, and his wife. Go down to Gladfield the fourth Sunday. What time? What time? Dig it with me. Fourth Sunday in April at three o'clock p.m. Hey, come down to Gladfield. And let's take my son to the highest level. Pastor Claude Robin. All right. Go ahead, son. Amen. Amen. Let us rise from our views. Amen. 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 The word is for somebody. Amen. So missionaries, you are on the right road, so just keep on trucking. Amen. 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 Congratulations once again. Amen. We didn't have church. Now it's time to go home. Amen. So.
I'm going to let Pastor Roberts do the closing. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know he should have gave it to me or not. All the years that I've been knowing him, now I know he can preach. But today, with my first time ever hearing him sing, now, now I know it's second Sunday, and his wife used to be here. But she's over in Texas, so she'll probably be back tomorrow. So I might have to call her and tell her to take another lead. That on second Sunday, stay over in Texas. So I want to hear my, my brother preach again, and I want to hear him sing again. Come on and give God some glory. We'll uplift in hands. May the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, root, and abide, henceforth and forevermore. Lord, watch over us as we depart from this building, but not from our eyesight, till we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all this mess. Amen. <laughs>